Senator Cruz, thanks for being with us. What's your best assessment of this final Super Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I think Tuesday night was a good night. What, what we saw Tuesday night is the field has continued to narrow even more. And we now have a clear one-on-one -on -one choice uh, between me and Donald Trump. There are only two candidates that have any plausible path to winning the Republican nomination, only two candidates that have any plausible path to getting to 1,237 delegates. And so I think that was very beneficial. And head-to-head, -head, directly with Donald Trump, uh, we beat Donald Trump. Uh, I can't help but notice you call this head-to-head -head and one-on-one. -on -one. John Kasich won Ohio. Yeah. John Kasich is staying in this race. Yeah. What is your message to John Kasich? Yeah. Well, listen, I, I congratulate John Kasich on winning his home state, but it's, it's mathematically impossible for John Kasich to be the, become the nominee. At this point, uh, he, he had lost 20 states before Ohio. Mathematically impossible, impossible for him to go forward. And so if you actually want to defeat Donald Trump, there's only one campaign that has done so over and over and over again. Nine different times all over the country we have beaten Donald Trump, all the way from Alaska to the other side to Maine and states all in between. Your message to Governor Kasich is get out. Well, I think any candidate, if you don't have a clear path to winning, it doesn't make sense to stay in the race. And I would note, every day John Kasich stays in the race benefits Donald Trump. You've made a career in Washington yeah. of sometimes yeah. fighting. Uh, against Washington. Is it time now to reach out, mm -hmm. perhaps, to some of the senators, even Republican senators, who, who, who you may have alienated in one way or another over the years, including the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell? You know, we are welcoming support from across the Republican Party. We, we have seen Republicans coming together and unifying the past week. Carly Fiorina endorsed our campaign. We saw Mark Levin endorse our campaign. We saw Senator Mike Lee endorse our campaign. We're going to continue, though, to keep the focus of the campaign exactly where it is that has gotten us to this point, head to head with Donald Trump. And that is focused on the American people, not on Washington. Listen, people are frustrated. Washington has betrayed them. Career politicians in both parties have, have made, lied to them, have made promises, and then not done what they said. And, and I believe this Republican primary will come down to who people trust to stand up to Washington. Senator, I read your campaign memo tonight. I know you still think you have a path to get a majority first ballot uh, delegate sure. count. Uh, you think you can mm -hmm. go to the convention with more delegates than Donald Trump. But if that doesn't happen, and right now Donald Trump has a delegate lead, a pretty significant delegate lead. If Donald Trump goes right. to the convention with a delegate lead but not a majority, are you prepared to fight on the floor for the nomination? Well, number one, I believe we're going to win 1,237 delegates and, and win the majority and win it outright before the convention. Going forward, each of these states will have a clear choice. Do you want Donald Trump? Do you want but Senator, uh, if you a, don't, a, a candidate who funded the Gang of Eight? But if you don't have the most delegates, will you fight it out? Well, look, there are many in the Washington establishment who are right now having fevered dreams about a brokered convention, about a deadlock convention where they parachute in an establishment candidate who suddenly saves all of the fears of the lobbyists. I think that would be an absolute disaster. I think the people would quite rightly revolt. The way to beat Donald Trump is at the ballot box. That's what we've been doing, beating him all over the country. And the way to beat him is get to 1,237 delegates. Now, if it ends up happening that we get to Cleveland and nobody has 1,237 delegates, that Donald has a whole bunch of delegates and I've got a whole bunch of delegates and we come in neck and neck, then it is up to the delegates to decide. Senator Ted Cruz from Texas, thanks for being with us. Thank you, John.